Hey all, welcome back to another mini-sode where today we'll be jumping back into the world of Star Wars with Republic Commando. Taking place between the end of Episodes 2 and 3, Republic Commando tells the story of a group of elite Republic clone troopers known as Delta Squad, led by Delta-38, aka Boss, and consisting of Deltas 62, 40, and 07, or Scorch, Fixer, and Sev, respectively. Spanning two years, the game tells of some of their biggest missions, ranging from the Battle of Geonosis to the Wookiee homeworld of Kashyyyk, all while discovering a sinister plot being devised by the Separatists. That's really all there is to it. I'm not saying it's a terrible thing, as what is here is still pretty good, especially in a Star Wars game that's based on the prequels. It's just a shame that there couldn't be a little more than that, especially given that the game is kind of short. Gameplay-wise, Republic Commando is a tactical-based first-person shooter where you must progress through each mission along with your squad, although it mostly boils down to run in a room, shoot some enemies, head a bit further down, shoot some enemies, you know, your basic shooter fare. But what makes Republic Commando unique is your squad. By just highlighting an available spot, you can easily command them to take sniping, grenade and anti-armor positions, hack terminals, breach doors, and heal it back to tanks. Of course, you can do all these actions as well, having your troopers protect you. To hammer in the concept of teamwork even more, you can revive your fallen comrades and vice versa. Hell, you can even have them finish their orders while you're bleeding out. But be careful, as if you all die, it's game over. The arsenal of a cloned commando is small, but very powerful. You start off with a blaster rifle that has a sniper and grenade launcher attachment that you collect along the way, as well as a pistol with unlimited ammo for when you're empty. You can also pick up some enemy weapons like an SMG, shotgun, heavy repeater, bowcaster, as well as different types of grenades to handle all types of bad guys, from organic to droid. There's a multiplayer mode as well, with your standard deathmatch and capture modes that can be played split-screen, system link, or, at the time, Xbox Live. But I'm sure there's a dedicated X-Link group out there. All of this great gameplay is complemented with great controls. Mostly because you can customize them to your liking. Visually, the game represents the Star Wars universe very well. Well, the prequel era, anyway. The worlds of Geonosis and Kashyyyk look just like their film counterparts, though I have to say the chapter that takes place in a Republic ship just looks like your standard ship environments. The characters look just as good as well, although I have to say, the Wookiees seem bigger than usual. Sound-wise, the music comes from the soundtracks of the films, so you know what to expect there. And the voice acting is pretty good, with Tamora Morrison portraying the voice of Delta-38, which makes sense since he voices anything that's a clone trooper or Django and Boba Fett these days. I'd like some explosives here, Deltas. Setting charge. Red, 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 green, or red, green, red? The charge is set and ready to detonate. It's all yours, boss. Get clear. <laughs> Republic Commando is LucasArts' attempt to make a Star Wars-based Halo, and for the most part, they succeeded. Sure, the gameplay's a bit dated these days with the walk down a hall, fight type of game, but they're still fun to be had here. Plus, it does have one of the best stories told in the prequel era, which, I must admit, is not much, but still. However, if it does intrigue you, you can find it for decent prices, as well as just buy it from Steam or GOG if you want to go that route. Sadly, this would be the last time we'd see the Commandos, as the planned sequel Imperial Commando was scrapped. At least we did get a cool shooter that was developed from LucasArts themselves since Jedi Knight. 
And with that, this is the Dolly Popka saying, stay green, and may the Force be with you. An elegant weapon for a more civilized time, huh? Well, guess what? Times have changed.